hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'll be talking about 90 days notice period and the problems associated with that 90 days notice period is really bad and many of us face issues when we try to switch our job we do not get interview calls right so i have divided this video into two sections first i'll be talking about the things which you need not to do or you should avoid doing okay and then in the second half i'll be talking about what you can do instead or what you should be doing or what are the good recommendation okay before we start a video i have a very humble request guys whatever i upload on this channel is done just by me i do not have any team you all are just my marketing okay so just this is very exhausting because i do my full-time job as well and this completely runs on the motivation so please do like share and subscribe my videos if you like them and that will motivate me to even work hard for that okay so what are the things you need not to do first thing is that many times it, you will feel like the only possible way for you is to resign and then start applying for jobs so that at least when your notice period will be let's say of 60 days then you will start getting calls but trust me if you resign from your current job this will put a lot of pressure in your mind and then you will not be able to perform better in your interviews because of that pressure also sometimes even after putting resignation you will not get you will not start getting calls immediately that one month notice period from 90 days to 60 days that will that will put so much pressure in your mind then when you actually start getting calls you might not be at the best place to clear those interview okay so we should never resign first and then start preparing obviously you will always get examples that that xyz person person was able to do that and so that so you can also but trust me this is not a right way to do it and this definitely exhaust you from you know so don't do that okay now few people do that uh, that they lie about their notice period like if they get interview calls from achar they'll say that okay i have 30 days notice period and then they have uh, they say that because they want to prepare for the interview they are treating the, those interview as a mock interview that is also not a very good approach first even if you get selected even if you get good offer you will not be able to proceed further with that because you lied about your notice period and obviously in the practical scenario you will not be able to get that regarding the uh, you know practice there are so many uh, there there are many channels there are many technical experts who are providing mock interview services i think you should consider those because if you give if you burn your chance for let's say a company xyz and that company might have some cooling off period so later on when you want to actually apply for it you might not be able to so please don't ruin your chances by just randomly applying and lying about your notice period because that is obviously not going to help you third which is also a very tempting offer sometimes uh, you know new people do that is that they abscond once they let's say they they got a good offer from a company they abscond their current organization which will definitely be very bad you will not you you don't know the consequences of uh, that but then it will reflect in your pf history that you worked on that company and uh, there are so many ways you you might get caught in the background verification so never abscond the company that is a real bad thing you should never do that okay fourth do not uh, you know when it comes to the notice period or leaving the organization we tend to uh, uh, we, we tend to think that our manager will help us or we will do the buyout okay so yes there there are companies who do provide buyout option but trust me when you need it you might not be able to get it or when you say that i need the i need the buyout they might say that they will not be able to uh, do that you have to serve your notice period so do not blindly trust on your manager's word or these buyout option because uh, I have seen it in the past uh, buyout option was there but manager was not ready to release me or that xyz person so do not trust that now what you should do instead so obviously 90 days notice period is very hard so one thing which you will definitely be needing is a lot of patience you will have to test trust that definitely you will get a company one day which will wait for you for 90 days I'm telling you from my past experience, there were companies who waited for me for more than 
60 days and um, the, the, these company do actually wait for you because they also know that they also have their 90 days notice period and they understand the whole process. So here in these kind of scenario, we'll have to selectively pick the companies who can wait for us. Now, which which type of companies can wait for 90 days? Those big uh, service based organization who have the bigger projects in their pipeline, they know their pipeline, which is, let's say, more than six months, seven months, eight months. They know that they have pipeline which will be coming up, let's say, in Q3, Q4. They are currently in Q1. So they know that there will be projects. They will be needing people in future as well. They can wait for you for 90 days. First, because they hire in bulk. Second, because they know that they have projects. So even if that person does not win, they, they keep on hiring people because they know they have projects. So such kind of organization will definitely wait for you. For me, uh, from my experience, Deloitte waited me for 90 days. Nagaro waited me for 90 days. IBM waited me for 90 days. Kip Gemini waited me for 90 days. So there are organizations who always wait uh, for 90 days and because they know the whole process of 90 days notice period. Just trust the process. Do not lose hope. Do not lose faith in the process. It will require a lot of patience and hard work in between. So don't do that. Don't, uh, you know, go negative on that way. Second, very important thing is that never stop studying. What happens with many of us is that because they do not get interview call, they stop studying. And when they get, when they actually get the call, they're not ready for it. So when they go for interview, they lose that opportunity because they were not ready for it. So even if you are not getting interview call, trust me, you have to trust the process that I'll, I'll not stop studying. I'll continue studying F and if in case I'm not getting call, then also I'll keep on building something new. I'll keep on learning something new and i'll not lose hope because studying is very important okay obviously i'll have to keep on applying uh, you'll have to keep on applying be selective but again you'll have to keep on applying even though you have 90 days notice period do not expect that hrs will call you and you are not applying anywhere yet they'll call you no they'll not call you you'll have to keep on actively applying from linkedin from Nokri, from all the possible portals available and um, make a very good terms with your manager as well sometimes these things help like let's say you need 15 days um, early release managers can accommodate that if you have good relationship with them when you are in a screening call with hr all the possible organizations who are ready to wait for 60 days you can throw a carrot at them by saying that okay my current notice period is 90 days but i can definitely try to get an early release of let's say 30 days 15 days in those kind of situations your manager's relationship will help you a lot if he is ready to do that <coughs> also you can convince the screening hr that because you know that they are ready to wait for 60 days and you'll have to just convince them for new remaining 30 days you can say that okay if they expedite the interview process because interview process also typically takes 15 to 20 days if they expedite it if you are technically good you put the resignation immediately that will also kind of give you 10 extra days in between because process was fast and then you can talk to your manager for remaining 10 15 days extra kind of uh, finding a common ground between you and the HR because if HR was ready to wait for 30 days by some little work this can be I mean this can be done or you can convince them also but you have to be exceptionally good in the technical your technical feedback should be very good so you'll have to be uh, good on that technical part plus it will also take some convincing okay to uh, I mean for for you to tell him that you will not be uh, shopping on that offer letter because the major concern for organization is that let's say they gave you an offer for 25 lpa you went on to the market searching for more obviously candidate do that even you might also be doing that but in the interview itself you'll have to convince that you uh, you're going to join that organization you will be loyal to that organization then only they will uh, obviously come up to that point so these are come a uh, few of the things you will have to do if your notice period is of 90 days. There is no shortcut. You will have to trust the process. You will have to pick the companies. There are companies who wait for 90 days. This process might take a bit longer than your expectation because market is slow, but this will definitely work. Do not put resignation first. I have seen so many candidates do that and then they come up and say that now uh, they are neither getting interview calls nor they have option to uh, you know take back their resignation and they are in the stage of uh, 
complete loss so i hope this help uh, you know you try to follow these things and help these things will help you thank you everyone i'll see you in the next video bye bye